supporting Ed Sheeran on his autumn tour? Don't uh, No, oh, I mean, we don't know is the truth of it. Mm. Uh, we were doing a good bit of touring ourselves at that time. Our people are good. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. Truthfully, we don't know. Uh, we haven't been asked, and if we are asked, we'd of course go back. We're not sure. Okay. Mm. And with any other freestyle artist, who would it be? James okay. Hancock's. And I do it every day. Hey! hey. <laughs> <laughs> Living the dream. <laughs> Living the dream. Something mine isn't wrong. I suppose it. No. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. That is a good question. Um, I don't know. There's a, there's a litany of great rappers out there. So many good rappers and good freestylers. Um, as well as someone, uh, like you want someone who you could have a bit of fun with, a bit of mm. crack. Mm. We wouldn't want to be thrown out. A bit of crack. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Irish is that was the, yeah, there's a mixture of, like, uh, of translations, wasn't there? Particularly when we did, uh, when we did Aberdeen and, and Edinburgh with the crack. Oh yeah, the crack yeah. Uh, translation. <laughs> uh, any any artist, I don't know, like someone like to work with someone like uh, like Kanye yeah. would be pretty unreal. Um, I was looking at, at that song, uh, all of the lights, and just seeing how many people are on that, on that record. <laughs> There's like so many at the end, and I don't know if it's all just like some of them voices trying. There's like a lot of people. I just thought, surely, surely, I could have gotten on that record. There's yeah. like ninety, uh, but no, someone like. I suppose someone like Kanye is someone that you know I'd love to work with. But there's also, I, I don't know, any rapper that's kind of just able to freestyle and and does with it kind of uh, just slightly has more fun with it. Like I don't know if you know, but this rapper you probably do Sweater Kinch, who's in. He's based in Birmingham, um, and he's phenomenal. Just a very funny freestyler uh, and a very great rapper. He's he's someone who I enjoy freestyling with. Mm. Jim. I don't know actually. Um, uh, should know because I've had more time to think about it. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, I, I really like Prince. That's the first, first person that pops into my mind. So maybe possibly Prince. If only so then we could uh, share a, a dress. Maybe he could um, not dress. A, dr uh, maybe, a dress. Maybe he could uh, bring one of his velvet suits and we could uh, share a dress. <laughs> we'll share a dress. <laughs> share, share a dressing <laughs> session. That is the line from this interview. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's the headline. Share a dress. <laughs> we can share a dress with Prince. With Prince, yes. That's to be taken out of context yeah. here. Yeah. Um, can you tell me one thing not many people know about you? I, um... Hello. <laughs> Four years ago, I was convicted for a crime that I didn't commit. Uh, it's not the 18th. <laughs> that was the 18th. The 18th. Uh, yeah. no, that's, that's the start of the 18th. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. So then not many people know. Uh, I don't know. That's I'm really that's you, but you're going to tell me. What's something that nobody knows, Jim? I don't know. I never listened to hip hop. I hate it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's country. country. Like yeah. country. Country is my thing. Me and Garth Brooks. I don't even know something about me that I don't know. That, no, that I don't know that, that hey. people know. <laughs> it's quite a confusing question. It's it's quite very confusing hard. Question. They We're had a late night. And you've <laughs> and I don't even know, man. What do people know? Um, what do people not know? What do people not know? Oh, well, is that true? Yeah. What I think you should know? find something out and then tell them. Yeah, I'll tell what's, you. What's, at a later give date. Us a, give us a category. What's a category? <laughs> <laughs> Body parts. Wow. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I've got an extra toe. Right? Yeah, yeah, I'm moving on. Yeah, okay. I am entirely, all my toes are wet. I am one large, I'm like a duck. <laughs> my uncle actually has wet toes. Well, okay. yeah. me and him are going to hang out. There's, there's, there's a lot of toe related problems. That's the fewest number. Yeah, do not TA, toe and all. Toe bros have got to sit Toe bros. That's the name of the band. Toe bros. I feel like we should be like, and we're done. Toe bros. The last three years of the band we've looking for. Amazing. Toe bros, I like this. Toe bros is good. It's really good. <laughs> um, looking back now, if you could give your adolescent selves one piece of advice, what would it be? These are really good questions. These are good I tell my I tell my adolescent self, uh, I just feel like rap more <laughs> because I loved rapping when I was a kid, and I used to, I used to do my first ever band, um, so I was in quite a like a kind of you know, like a, a middle class school in Dublin, um, 
And Dublin at the time wasn't very hip hop. Like it was very, when I was around 15, it was 1995, and it was like, it was just, it just, hip hop wasn't that exposed in Ireland. Uh, so I did my first hip hop band, and we only did covers of hip hop tracks we liked. And though I didn't realize it now, like people laughed. <laughs> they weren't meant to. In a good way. When I look back, I look, <coughs> excuse me, when I look back and I go, I was a 15 year old dude with like kind of floppy hair, doing songs like The World is a Ghetto, doing songs like Tupac, like The World is a Ghetto by Ghetto Boys is about like living in the ghetto. And I lived, I lived in an all right area in Dublin. Yeah, it's like kind of, you know, I wore a school uniform. It's like, The World is a Ghetto, you don't understand. People shot every day, whose plan is this? Dang, people dying on the street. I'm screaming every day, like, why can't we eat? <laughs> Like, just like, this guy's, this guy's, this guy's, this guy's, this guy so how ironic. I was gonna say they probably thought you're being ironic. Yeah. So so yeah, but and I and I, I wish that I'd done more of that, despite the fact it was so ridiculous. Um I think that's stuff. I think that's I mean that's that's as that's as a, as as kind of knowing that I loved performing at that time. Yeah. Um and that's that's what's impressive about kind of a lot of uh, there's a lot of guys like Ed who have been performing since I think Ed did now in the release of maybe 13 or maybe 11. Yeah. And that just, I think, just, just be like, boom, throw out your music, throw out your comedy, put it out there, see what happens. And that's probably the best the advice I'd give. And do yeah. more songs like The World is a Ghetto yeah. by the Ghetto <laughs> Boys. <laughs> yeah, I think there is that. Yeah, I, I agree. I think um, once you get to this point, I guess, um, this point being 32. That, um, uh, the you 22? I promote to 32, yeah. I think you're 21. So being 21, yeah. Yeah, so being 21 yeah, is, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. so I'm quite 21. close to being quite young, I suppose. Um, but yes, yeah, so I suppose uh, once you kind of, uh, once you find something that you love to do, you kind of wish that you would have done, like yeah, I wish I was playing guitar good. from much earlier and I wish um, kind of, but um, yeah, and I guess I guess you spend loads of your, your young time. Um, well, I spent quite a lot of my young time being quite individual, but the people around me wanted uh, often there's quite a lot of conformity. And then you get to this point, and you realise the individualness is is the great stuff. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I'd say that's a that's a big thing as well that I tell my younger self is just stick with it and just just be who you are. Yeah, kids. <laughs>